Hey everybody, PJ here. I'm just gonna make a quick little video showing you how I put pocket clips on the Leatherman. This is the Juice S2. But you can see this bad boy right here is old, worn, but still works. See that? Hopefully you can see it real good. But I just get some cheap knives with a good thick pocket clip on them and I'll take them off and I'm not going to go through the whole process but uh, I'll take a little torch and I'll bend it and get it just the way I want it and then I'll take a Dremel tool with a little cut wheel which this one already had a hole in it but I made another slit because when you do this you want it to hold on I mean, you can spend time and try to get it pretty, but I don't care about pretty. I want it to work. And I like being able to just stick it in my pocket. Now, uh, which I have, still have a little lanyard on there, just so I can pull it out of my case on my pack when I got it. Because I've got the uh, Wave pouch. I don't have pouches for these. And I have that on my backpack. That way I can just stick it all the way down in there, leave that out, I can grab it and pull it out. But anyway, what I've got here now is the uh, Juice CS4. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Now what I've done is I've marked where I want it. And it usually seems to be better on the, this is the blade side on the opposite side of the blade and you might not want to avoid your warranty but me I mean these things last this sucker right here I mean it's it's an old one I mean it's been used dropped you can see it's even broke right here took a massive fall out of my pocket <laughs> but this one not so much I'm going to make it the same way. But what I'll do is I'll take the grind wheel from the Dremel. And I'll place this on here and figure out where I want it. And then I'll take and just cut some little bitty grooves in it. Just through. You don't want to go all the way through the thing. Just to when you start seeing it kind of show. But you don't want to cut through the inner part of the... Uh, frame there but that's basically it guys because what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take some baby weld and I'm not going to show you that process this is the quick grind stuff it's like 3600 psi or something like that and then when you put this on there all them holes give that JB weld somewhere to go and then in order to do that keep it from getting out of there I'm just going to take something I'm going to put right inside of here so it won't go all the way into it and then once that's done I can pull it out and clean it up but then I'm gonna mix this up and then I'm gonna put it on there uh, make sure you clean it good with some alcohol or some brake cleaner you know something get all the oil off of it before you do it that way the JD well will stick that's it guys just a short little video like I say I mean this is the end result I'm not going to show you the mix in the JB well and all that and I mean this thing has been on there I couldn't tell you how long this one's been on there but I don't like just throwing this thing in my pocket it just flops around I can put this in the same pocket as my phone right here you can't see that and then it don't take up no room and get to it easy it's there so if you're looking for a pocket clip they don't make one for it you gotta make it yourself this is the best way I found to do it yes this will probably void your warranty but I mean, if I'm going by how long this one's lasted and still working I'm not gonna be too <laughs> too worried about the warranty but y'all have a good one 
one more time. Finished product. Okay.